All right, everyone, welcome back to a, another episode of Arcanum. So we are going to, in this episode, go to the Vandegroth Wastes and uh, probably find the city of Tala. And maybe do some quests in Tala. So let's head on over to the uh, gateway, which we got uh, that waypoint from Nazrudin. So if we go to the gateway of the wastes right here. Alright, so we have to talk to this guy, because he'll give us some information. Alright, so you're welcome here, sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Who are you? I am Weldo Rubin, the renowned halfling adventurer at your service, sir. What are you doing here, Weldo? Why adventuring, of course. What better place to explore than the dreaded waste of the Vandergroth? Have you seen any cities uh, out in the waste, perhaps? Well, it's pretty empty out there, and I haven't been here exploring all that long, but I found this one city way out in the waste, surrounding by shifting sands. No roads led into or out of that place. Please continue. There was no obvious entrance, so I climbed the surrounding wall. From that vantage point, I could see the whole place. Anyone live there? Yeah, there were a lot of people inside, lots of different races. Everyone was wearing robes and acting very polite and all. Did you go inside? No, I climbed back down and left. Bigger folk have their own ways, and I don't... I won't be disturbing them. Uh, would you please show me where it is on the map? Okay, I've marked the location on the city on your map. So he will join you, um, if you ask him. If you're nice to him, he will join you. If you start questioning, you know, halfling adventure, then he won't like that and he won't join you. Alright. Alright, let's uh, head on over to the city, which is uh, Tulla, and it's up here. I think we could teleport there. Let's try teleporting first. Alright, here's the city. I'm gonna go inside the gate. Um, there he is. Talk to this guy and she'll let you in. Greetings, traveler. What is this place? It looks before you for a moment before responding. Ah, it's you. Jorant. Jorant told us to be expecting you. You may enter. Thank you, but who is Jorian? And what is this place? Jorion the Diviner, he is inside, waiting for you. And this place, this place is called Tulla. Alright. So this is Tulla. Uh, we need to do a couple things. Uh, we can, since we are mages, we can actually uh, specialize in a tree. And so we can get our um, specialty in force. And become a master of force. Which would make all of our spells uh, cheaper. We can also either that one, or we can do um, temporal, which is nice. You can get a super cheap hasten, which makes a lot of the battles easier. Uh, other the other ones aren't as good, I guess, but it's more of a. It depends on what you want to do. Uh, conveyance. I wouldn't recommend conveyance because nothing in here is really that beneficial. I typically go with force or temporal or even maybe fire or something like that. I don't have enough points in fire, so I'm not going to do that one. Alright, so let's find... Uh, there are two side quests in here and there's a main quest in here. So let's go into the main building and start the main quest and probably get a uh, mastery of a magic school. There's Force. Honor to meet you. You find it difficult to master the disintegrate spell. Uh, took some time, but it's well worth the effort. Uh, what do I need to do? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay, so uh, he gives us the medallion. Take this medallion. When you are prepared to face your test, put it on and proceed over to the portal located in the center of the hall. 
This will begin your test. I wish you well, Mighty Scum. Thank you. All right, so we have our medallion. Let's put it on. Let's take uh, this test for the uh, Force College. All right, I think we are done. Let's talk to the uh, master. All right, so I've completed the test and become a master of force. Well done, well done indeed, Marty Scan. It is few that I have congratulated on such an accomplishment. You will find your endurance in our college as strengthened by twofold. Thus, you will feel half the strain for each four spell you cast. Again, I congratulate you. Uh, thank you, Master. All right. So now um, our spells are half the cost. Twenty-five fatigue instead of fifty. Twelve instead of twenty-five. 7 instead of 15, uh, 5 instead of 10, and then 2 instead of uh, 5. So there we go. Alright, so we have our uh, mastery now. Alright, so now that we have our Force College mastered, let's go talk to the uh, water person here, the water master. And I believe they have a quest for us. Ask your name, Hydromancy. How'd you know that? Uh, where's your point? So, okay, so we kind of have immature minds that have been influenced by the outside world living here. Tala needs to maintain its philosophical purity, as it were, to retain our effectiveness as a refuge for pure magic. Since you have been here in Tala, a problem has arisen with one of our former students. What does that have to do with me? I am, we are, at Tala. Are not much for open conflict this is this could be a difficult situation to negotiate i was wondering if you could care for uh, to help us out in the matter uh, possibly what i need to do i made the questionable choice of sending out one of our students to retrieve a gem that would be useful to me in my water magics that was over 120 days ago do you want me to try to find him there is no need. He has returned and is waiting at the front gate, but he has been gone, gone too long. We cannot possibly allow him to return to his studies here. He has been contaminated by the outside world, by the gods. We He is even wearing technological enhanced armor. Continue. As I said, we are not much for open conflict. 
What we need to you to do is to meet with him and convince him to give us the gym and to leave peaceably. This is no longer a place for him. I will give you a robe of fire resistance if in consideration of your help in this matter. Okay, I'll do it. Splendid. It's the front gate. Return with the gym. You will receive those robes. What if we're not listening to reason? My only concern is that the retrieval of the gym. Alright, I will return with the gym. Okay. He just wants the gym. So that's one quest. Uh, it's still daytime, so let's go talk to this guy up here and get the main quest. Excuse me. Oh, it is the Wanderer. You are here to speak with Simon Tor. I am. Before you may see him, you must do something for me first. Uh, I need vital information. The fate of Arcanum hangs in the balance. That may be. But as Rudin sent me, I don't have much time. That is not how I see it. Then you know what I'm doing? Perhaps... Let me in and stop playing these games. That's not how this works. Okay, tell me what I need to do. Go and gaze upon the mural in the main hall. It is near the glowing circle on the floor. I'm certain you must have passed it on your way in here. And then you may enter to see Simon Tor. That's it, go look at the mural? But why? Because that is what you are to do. Okay, I'll look at it. So the best thing to do with this is to actually um, look at the mural and then probably go uh, like draw it out or something. Or you can take a picture of it with your phone. Okay, this is the mural. Um, you can note that the, there's uh, a big symbol and there's smaller symbols around it. And there's four of them. And just keep that in mind. Uh, it's probably good just to keep note which symbols go with which. Uh, other big symbol and this is going to correlate to the buildings outside which we will find out later um, you have seen the mural you may now enter to speak with Simon Tour thank you good day alright let's talk to him you've come seeking information as Rudin has sent me to find the location of the Van der Graaff ruins Pelosian. Pelosian is the only one who can answer that question for you. Where can I speak with this Pelosian? How? How is the question, not where? Pelosian is dead. Has been for a thousand years. Okay, then how do I speak with him? No one knows. Since his death, he has appeared above Pelosian's pool every night at midnight. He floats there for an hour and then fades away. No one has ever been able to coax him to speak. You must find a way to bring his voice forth. Do you have any suggestions on how I might proceed? The answers are yours to find, Wanderer. Perhaps Pelosian's history might yield some clues for you. All right, who is this Pelosian? Pelosian, clairvoyant artist, poet, founder of Tula, and above all, master of summoning. Hearing tales of him in my youth is what led me to summoning, actually. What can you tell me about his art? He was an artist of great talent. His paintings are said to help those who meditate on them become closer to achieving oneness. His best work, in my opinion, is the aptly named Mural of Enlightenment. Dryan sent me to this mural before he would let me in here. Really? That's interesting. Who is this Jorian fellow anyways? Jorian is the master of divination here in Tula. A bit of a clairvoyant in him there is. Jorian never has anyone do anything for no reason. Of that, you can be certain. He knows more than he is letting on, I feel. Well, I'll go speak with him further, then. It will do you no good. 
He has revealed everything he is going to. And if I know him, it was not very much. What's the mural meant to represent? No one knows really. The largest symbol is thought to be possibly represent a lost college of magic, but no one can say for sure. Good day. As it must be, you must find your own way. Good day then. If you notice the uh, little paintings, uh, there's still water and Ashbury, uh, Tarant, Blackroot, Caldon, and Brodger. So it's uh, different portals to different places. Okay, there is one more quest uh, we can do, which let's go to the outside. Okay, there's uh, a guy here. I think it's this guy right here. No. There's this guy right here, I, th I believe. He uh, needs help. It's a student. Uh, it's a pleasure. Hello, sir. Might I ask your name? I'm Hezerod Monk, apprentice mage in College of Phantasm. How do you do, sir? Very well, thank you. Might I ask you a few questions, Hezrod? Surely. What do you need to know? What can you tell me of Tola? Tola. Oh, it's a wonderful place, full of such strange things and interesting people. If only I didn't have to do all this bloody schoolwork. How's a fellow supposed to enjoy himself if his nose is always in the books? Do you have much schooling left? No, not really. A few bothersome papers, some illustrations illusionary presentations nothing all that difficult of course there's the final examination what does that entail there's a maze underneath Tula it was built by an illusionist centuries ago an old elf by the name of Falcon in order to pass the final exam I need to retrieve the platinum chalice from the middle of Falcon's maze and bring it back to the master illusionist it's not that I don't think I can do it it's just, there's so much else I'd rather be doing. Perhaps I might be able to assist you. There's possibility. Yes, just might work out nicely. That way I could run out later with the boys. There's a fireball tourney later this afternoon that I'd love to play in. Fine. And I've got an old scroll of Phantasmal Fiend around somewhere. Shall we call that your payment? Done. Very good. The scroll is yours once you return with the chalice. The entrance to the maze is just out in the courtyard. It's an archway made of stone. You'll need this coin in order to pass through it and into the maze. I'll be here when you're done. I must go. Good day. Okay. Before we uh, do anything else, let's go talk to this uh, guy here. Might as well want to say before you talk to him. Okay, uh, well this guy, since we are not very persuasive, we're gonna have to probably kill him. Uh, or we can, uh, steal from him if we, which we don't have that ability to do that either. But we need this gem, a uh, gem of water purity. He has, on him, he has a uh, Clarington rifle, which is pretty good if you're a technologist. And machine plate. Are you going to let me in? I don't understand why that, that imbecile of a guard won't let me enter. Uh, not exactly. What do you mean? I've been out here for months looking for this gem. Monsters have I've had to fight and the ludicrous things people had me do for them so that I would tell me the slightest bit of information. You wouldn't believe it. Actually, I would, but why don't you go... Actually, I would. Why do you want to go back in there? This is my home. I wish to return to my studies. I've got the gym. Let me in. But what are you really... But what of your armor? You're turning in toward technology? Look, I did what I had to do to get by out there. Enough talk. Why won't they let me in? They feel you'd be corrupting influence in school. That's how they feel. They can tell me themselves... I will not be turned away by some hireling. I need to get the gym from you before I leave. Let the pry from my cold dead fingers. I'd be happy to try, dog. I can't believe you'd have me attack such a good-hearted person. Yeah, we know. 
Let's, uh, we can't disintegrate him because then he'll, um, yeah, he'll not like that. So we can't disintegrate him because then we will lose the gym. So we have to just, uh, kill him with a spell that will, uh, let's see, do a lot of damage maybe. I probably should have had, uh, what's her name, Wait. I can't, I can't believe, I can't, I can't believe you'd have me attack such a good-hearted person. Yeah, okay, 75, not bad. How may I help you? We do get to keep the medallion of force, which is nice. Um, you can get the other medallions as well. And you can uh, take tests to switch between different masteries of college, but I really don't want to do that. But if you're interested, you can do that. Okay, let's go turn the gym back in, and then we can uh, work on this uh, quest for the student. Alright, here's the water guy, or lady. I spoke with your student out front. Here's the gym. Thank you for bringing it to me. Here are the robes I promised you. Thank you. Okay. So we got these uh, fire protection robes, plus 50 to fire resistance. All right. Okay, so let's go and take the test for the students. Um, make sure you have the coin, which we do. Yeah, the Alkin's coin. And you just go through this little uh, archway here. There you go. So the first thing you need to do is just take the stuff from these two chests. Um, different items we need to wear. to give him what some stuff. Alright, so now we have to, it's kind of like a puzzle. Uh, we have to just put on different pieces of equipment. Um, so we have to put on the, uh, the ring. Then we get to the next room. And then we have to put on the, uh, and I really don't know how to figure this out other than, um, just having to know how to do this, uh, I guess, trial and error. Put on the amulet now. Uh, let's see. Just the amulet? Okay. And then we put on uh, the helmet. Okay. Then we have to put on the boots. And then we can put on the gauntlets. And then we put on uh, the dagger. All right, then we put on everything uh, that we have. I think that's it, and then the boots, and then uh, everything. Yeah. All right. And then we put on. We take everything off. Okay, and the very last thing you need to do is grab this chalice. Then you can leave. Alright, uh, make sure you have nothing on you, um, other than just your regular clothes. Okay. So, once you're done, make sure you uh, don't walk through this portal. Walk around it. And then, 
you have to go and turn in the quests down here. This little uh, L-shaped room. Give you a moment. I have the chalice. There we go. Take my leave. Done. So we have uh, a phantasmal fiend scroll. All right, that is going to be uh, the two side quests. All right, so what we have uh, the final part of this place is to talk to the dead guy. And if you remember on the mural, there were these symbols like a plus sign, uh, like a swirl, a uh, asterisk, and like a star. And with that, there was these other symbols um, that go with it. And they kind of surrounded it, small symbols. That's why you have to kind of remember what the mural was like. So if you don't remember what it's like, you should go inside, maybe get your phone camera or something like that and take a picture of it so that you can uh, reference it. Um, because what you'll need to do is you'll need to go in and uh, open these doors. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate opening up these uh, doors now. I'll just probably speed up this process. Um, there used to be a bug where you could actually uh, un unlock these things and pick them, pick lock these things. But it seems to not work in the latest versions. So you have to actually go through the process of unlocking these doors. So in the, uh, the first one, I'm just going to reference uh, the symbols on my magic sheet here. First one's Earth. We need to open up for the plus sign with the circle. First one's Earth. So we can, uh, that's what the symbol matches. And then the next one is going to be air. And then it looks like uh, water. And then it looks like fire. Those are the four symbols. So earth, air, water, fire. And as you can see, the fire symbol is the last one in front of the door. So when you go find the earth, uh, the air, and the water symbols. Alright, doors open. Let's uh, go in here and there should be Kanto and an amulet. Okay. Come on, move out the way. There we go. So this is what you ultimately need is this amulet and this will uh, let you talk to Bologian. You can go through the other ones if you want, but they all have these little Kantos in them. These little books. And all the books are just like little uh, things to tell you about um, which ones of these activates uh, the symbols in the middle. Uh, but I can show you that here in a, in, a, in a moment. So this is the last one you'd activate, which corresponds to this symbol. All right, let's put the amulet on and we can then activate the symbols in the middle. This will let us talk to Pelogian. All right, so this is the that's the order you get to open up the um, Pelogian, and you, you don't have to wait till midnight. Um, I think in there he talks about waiting till midnight, but you don't have to. You can activate that any time. Greetings, traveler. Long have I waited for you to come. What? What do you mean? The signs, traveler. You read them, did you not? The mural of enlightenment, the verses of the wanderer, the objects you have assembled here today. All of these were signs I left for you. And they were also signs for me, so that I would know you when you came. So you knew all this time you've been waiting for me? Yes, Traveler, I was blessed with the gift of seeing the future, and I knew that someday you would need my help. So I'm here, and you are here. How is it that I can be of service? I had a few questions. Where are the Vandergarth ruins? And he points to a place on your map. It's a place of sorrow, a place of death. All right, so that's the main 
point of you coming here was to get that on your map. So now you know what the Vandegroth ruins are. So we can reclaim the Vandegroth device. Um, you can ask more questions, but um, I'm just going to skip that. And then we'll be done with this place. And I'll just go through this real quick. Um, this is all stuff we've already read about Aranox and, and how he didn't like the place. This is like everything that we've been told by Nazardin. Okay. Um, so we can go through other things, but this is all stuff that we actually knew. I think that's all. Thank you, Pelogian. Yes, I must go as well. My long vigil is over, and I can finally go to my rest. My f fate has it not yet chosen, and death himself awaits. Farewell, traveler. I'll be off then. Okay, so that's going to end the uh, quests and everything in Tula. Uh, we now know the location. Uh, of the Vandegroth uh, ruins, which it's in here, Vandegroth ruins. So the next next thing we have to do is go in there, get the actual device, so that we can destroy uh, Aranox. Um, I did want to mention also, which I looked in my quest book. I don't have the quest, but there is a quest to uh, cure a werewolf, which um, for some reason. I don't have that quest. Um, I thought I thought we'd have, I've got it before. But there's essentially a girl who turns into a werewolf. And if you do have that quest, you can talk to the polymorph instructor inside the building. And she will give you the cure for like 2,000 gold. Something like that. Um, I'll need to do that at some other point in the, in the future. But I don't have it now, so oh well. So that will wrap up this episode. I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.